Welcome back to Carolina this week. My guest now is Chris Cavanaugh from the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. He's going to talk to us about a very fun event, a very tasty event coming up <laughs> next That's weekend, right. <laughs> Beach Boogie and Barbecue. But first off, uh, as I've mentioned before, we're taping this on a Friday afternoon. Right. We're assuming right now that Irene <laughs> has come and gone and is moving on up the East Coast. Hopefully going to right. <laughs> hopefully going to spare those people too much trouble. Um, I I got to assume that you guys are pretty happy that Beach Boogie and Barbecue absolutely. did not have to be moved you and absolutely right will be next that. weekend. Yes, we are very fortunate that uh, it's a different weekend. We have it's a Labor Day weekend. <laughs> <laughs> very you fortunate. Go. And as far as festivals go, mm -hmm. has have the festivals this summer lived up to the chamber's expectations? I think so. Yeah, I mean, we had some great lineups. We had great really good meet and greets with some teen stars, the you know, Memorial Day, the parade that went over fantastically I hope, I hope that continues on. I've, I've been to both of them I've been to yeah. the first and the second sure. now and it seemed to me that from year to year the Memorial Day parade nearly I, I just judging I'd say maybe came kind of came close to doubling in size. Pretty close pretty close we this year was phenomenal and we heard a phenomenal feedback too nothing but rave reviews about the parade and it, it was wasn't and even though it was on Ocean Boulevard mm -hmm. it was not just tourists coming out of the high-rises to mm -hmm. watch a mm -hmm. lot of local people lots there. of local people and a lot of local feedback as well after that that weekend too when these festivals are designed are they designed with locals in mind or with the tourists in mind a little bit of both but primarily in the, the spring months are definitely the tourists we we do a lot of out-of-market advertising and uh, it tends to bring a lot of people in. I'm sure if you did the uh, comparison on the hotels, they're still 95% and, and up full, which has been great. Is that also, Sun Fun seemed to return home to the beach mm -hmm. this year as opposed mm -hmm. to maybe some years past. Was that a conscious decision for the? Absolutely, we, and we started Sun Fun to be uh, a week earlier, and we wanted an entire week of events and different things to promote and I think it turned out really well. And a lot year. of that turned out, it was a uh, military center, mm -hmm. center yeah. of the military. And military uh, Appreciation Day is the whole month of May. We had di different chamber discounts uh, for businesses that worked out really well. A lot of people were very appreciative of that. As it well. was a blast to see the military come through and really be honored. Uh, yes. We had the yeah. Wounded Warriors yep. come through. Mm -hmm. Just a, a fantastic weekend. It uh, was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Anything before we get to talking about Beach Boogie and mm -hmm. Blues in earnest, because I can talk about barbecue all morning <laughs> long, but before we talk about that, are there any new festivals you all are dreaming up for next year or any big changes you're already talking about coming up for next year? Not yet. We've been so geared on our spring and, and our Beach Boogie event, so we really haven't really focused too much on 2012 just yet. But I'm sure there'll be something new, you know, something different. We'd like to bring flavor back, the culinary event that we had last year. That went, that turned out super for the locals. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to do that again. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> now, Beach Boogie and Barbecue is... I think it has it's developed be, a reputation. It has. This is the sixth year, and this is the first year we're extending the dates from Friday to Sunday, as opposed to just Friday and Saturday only. This will be the first Sunday. So by popular demand, this, this happened. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to a, another day of festivities. And I know the way, the way it was set up last year, I believe it was last year, you had a lot of vendors that were set mm -hmm. up out front of where the actual barbecue was going on a little mm -hmm. bit deeper back. Mm -hmm. Then when you, you so and it was fr it's free to get in at it's the free. beginning of the park. It's and then free. if you want to go back and eat, you can buy a wristband. Absolutely, ten dollar wristband for adults, children ten and under, eat free, sample free. So it's a phenomenal price. <laughs> you can't beat it. You know we're hoping to have at least fifty or more barbecue teams on site. So I mean nobody will leave hungry. Yeah, th and this is something that, uh, and I've been familiar with this for a few years now, I've, after seeing a barbecue festival in some, a few other cities, that uh, they're, they're guys and girls out there. They, oh, sure. This is a <laughs> hardcore hobby. <laughs> it is, and people take it very seriously. Yeah. There are over $12,000 in cash prizes to be awarded for the weekend. So. Oh. So people are very serious. <laughs> and just about any kind of barbecue you can imagine yeah, from yeah, the dry of, rub to the absolutely. Memphis, Kansas mm -hmm. City. I never realized spicy until stuff. last year how many different variations there were. But I'm looking yeah. forward to this year <laughs> for obvious reasons. Okay, have you changed things at all between this year and last year? I do remember last year there were a few complaints about some of the or some of the bar some of the places running out. Running out, yeah. We've, um, we've uh, let it be known that they should 
carry enough to get them through the Friday night, Saturday, and the new day, Sunday. Mm -hmm. So they're supposed to be bringing a lot more than what they brought in years past. And let's talk about the entertainment because mm -hmm. there is a big, large bill really this year. Yeah. All sorts of entertainers, big Definitely. names and some names that aren't quite so big. Sure, sure. Tell me about it. Sure. On Friday night, we have the Mighty Tams, the very, very, very popular band. A lot of people are already getting calls on what night are they going to be there. Uh, also, a band on Friday night is a huge favorite to locals, True Soul. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but people rave about them. Saturday, a lot of local bands uh, as well, as well as Sunday, but our headliner on Saturday night is Josh Grayson from American Idol Season 2. And I'm told he was the country one. I don't watch yes. American Idol, but right. it, when, I told, <laughs> when I told people in the newsroom, it was Josh, it, oh, he's the guy, he, yes. he sang country, I think that he was correct. in the military, I'm not positive. I don't remember his history, I can't remember. But <laughs> Somebody will look at it, and, and you, if you know, if you watch American Idol, Josh Grayson, definitely. kind of country twinged, or tinged. yes, yeah. most definitely. Most and, uh, definitely. in fact, we have a full screen setup of the dates of the of the festival. If you could pull that up, Robbie, Beach Boogie and Barbecue, September second to September fourth. You got the Tams, as Chris just mentioned, on Friday night. Josh Grayson on Saturday night. Lots of other bands and. Another day on Sunday. And another day on Sunday. To go Sunday. in and just eat some food. And Absolutely. Check and listen out to what more the music. Have going on. And we have uh, a wing eating competition and a watermelon eating competition for the kids. Wow. Lots of prizes with that as well. I'd like to get in on the yeah, wing eating yeah. competition. I it think sounds, it could do some damage. It sounds pretty tasty. <laughs> well, Chris, thank you very much for being here thank once you again. For having Hope me the too. event's a huge success. Me and too. Uh, we'll see you back here for the next one. Thank you, sir. All right. We'll be right back.